Hello everybody, welcome to CyberDucky today. Today we're gonna see two scanning tools for network scanning tool which is one is MassScan and a scan and and map. So we'll do some basic scan today uh, in a network and see how which one is faster and easy to find targets. Then based on that we will find some uh, vulnerable vulnerable devices and see how we can exploit so but today we will do only the basic scan and asset identification or to find what are the available target in the network so for the mass scan like if you do on a ping sweep uh, you can do so do uh, mass ping so this is the uh, IP address and I mean network range where I'm trying to scan so I want to find out how many devices available on this network <laughs> and what are the ports are open this is my first thing top thing I want to try here so it's taking some time we do the same thing for and map I clear this so to and map so the command for and map uh, sweep ping sweep is s dash sn but if you see for uh, max mass scan is dash dash ping so let's do this yeah so I think speed was I think both not much different or you know so looks like we have how many asset one two three four five six how many this has found um, looks like more than n map and map has a more asset I think so let me do one thing uh, let me send this to in a file say uh, yeah let me, let me move to a different folder so use pwd so we are in the key folder uh, let me create one directory uh, one thing is fine uh, send mass one dot text so what will happen is that it will scan again do the same thing and but it will instead of displaying on the and a terminal it will send the file so that we can use it for different time you do the same for and map text I think I put a wrong command file. I think I think this is wrong. My mistake. I think it should be text. Then. So now we check what is happening here. Clear. Unless so we have in map text we can cat this cat in map and map so we have this information already safe and let's go to uh, cat minus cat mass text so so this one is giving little information that about if you see the um, mass scan right it's giving me or giving us one two three four five six yeah six six uh, available assets this is what it's showing but it doesn't give much information but in other hand if we see the in map scan we can see it has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten assets and it makes giving some informations like you know 
what is the device belongs to the MAC address range and I can see some of them are showing up here like Aruba you can see some of them have some you know on high whatever company names the most unknown yeah it's giving much more information than that so what I need to find out is which one has a FTP in this open all this so let's see how to find out which server which device has FTPs open yep let's see let's say sudo mass scan instead of this uh, I think it should be dash p21 and I want to send the data to a uh, file also mass port 21 dot text so clear and let me so let me see and maps so do and map dash SN twenty four dash B uh, twenty one send them to and map dash port twenty one dot text Give me a moment. Yeah, I think the mistake is uh, I should not use SN. So, because SN is only uh, for the spring sweep. So it's already sent. That's why we cannot see. Uh, LS will give you all the list. And map port, yeah. Cat and map port, yep. Hmm, it has found a few okay bad box so some of them are open filtered filtered close uh, closed closed Filtered. I don't see open. Ah, it's open here. What is this IP address? Is this one one seventy? Let's see what is the story here. Cat mass okay. Why I don't see anything. Let me scan again. I think I should have the space. I think, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, so th that's what I'm looking for. So the good thing about a mass scan is that it, it's very precise. Like, it, I think it gives full information rather than like, I need to f go through the list if I s if you see the uh, nmap list, right? So it's all give all the filters. I mean, it doesn't mean it's none of them are open also. It's just, 
gives everything closed nobody has also it gives if it's open also so the common thing here is the 170 has you know uh, opened port so that is a good news so now we have one target which has already uh, FTP open so for today I will conclude with this and tomorrow or maybe next video we will see how to exploit or how to scan more in depth and find vulnerabilities within the FTP uh, file or in server which is is running here then we'll see how to exploit and get into its this server or this device inside and how to get into privilege ex I mean ex privilege escalation and how to get information from this server thank you for watching this video and have a good weekend and see you again soon